good evening and thank you for joining me. Uh, out in the field when it's sun shining, you'll notice that your screen gets washed out on your tablet. I mean, I've got an iPad mini and the Google Nexus 7 2013. Both have got brilliant screens, but even in strong sunlight, I do find it difficult to see what the quad seen. And after all, you're flying by FPV for a lot of the time, you want to be able to see it. So on eBay, uh, I found one of these a while back. This is one of the six pound uh, sun shades that they sell. And I had to make a slight moderate, uh, 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 what they call it, a um, modification. Um, it had sucker pads, and when you put the iPad in, that gap there was too thick to hold in the uh, tablet holder. So I just got a sand knife and cut them out. And it's been all right, but like I said, you know, when it's in like that, you still get a lot of sunlight leaking around it, and it can be difficult to see uh, your screen. So a while back, I saw Jack's Drones uh, show one, uh, which I quite liked, but they were very expensive. They were about £80, £90. Uh, company, I think it was it Polar Pro Filters or some, some big company like that. And I thought, I can't afford that. But I was shopping uh, the other day on Amazon, and I saw what I wanted. Now, my daughter said to me about a day later, Dad, what do you want for Father's Day? I thought, thumbs up, Father's Day is coming up. I can save myself some money and get my daughter to buy it. So she did. Uh, this is it. Uh, no, actually, this is half of it. I'll show you the half in a minute. This uh, is a tablet holder, uh, sunshade, and all you do is it comes, it's a, you can see it's a collapsible one. Um, you basically get your iPad and you can slide it in the back like this. And it sort of fits just about, you know, it fits alright. You know, it's not, it, it sits on the lip, so to speak. I mean, it's not absolutely fantastic, but it did say it was for iPad. It actually showed that this was the way it goes. And you can see you've got your socket there for your cable to go in, although it's, it'll go in without opening that flap, I'm not sure again. You know, they, they build these things, they don't really give any sort of clear instructions. But anyway, uh, on the tablet holder, uh, open your tablet holder up, and you've got to pop it in like this. And just, because it's gripping the iPad, it does give a good amount of grip. Now you'll see this uh, hanging down part here. All you do with that is you take that and clip it in, and it just gives that extra little bit of support for the actual holder itself. Let me just turn the iPad on and unlock the screen. Oh, you have to press the new uh, new version. So as you can see, you can now see the iPad in there and uh, that would be all right maybe, but as you know, this has a two-part thing. Let me just take this off the cover and I shall show you the other part of it. Move that out of the way. And that's this part, of course, uh, the part that really matters. Put these on is dead easy. Um, you just basically put it on the fabric like this. It's velcro on one side, fabric on the other side. Lay it on. Bring the side up. The other side up. And then that then just velcros together there like that. And then you can see inside, you can see the iPad there. Now, I know what you're thinking. Hang on. How do you touch the screen? Just put your hand all the way in there. Oh, no. You'll notice a little thing here. You can actually put your fingers through. And you can see you can switch the screen quite easily to choose your apps and so on and swipe the screen right and left and do whatever you want to do with it really good idea i'm not going to show you uh i'm actually going to put that to my face like this but you can't see me putting this to my face i'm not sure though if it's like because that bit there and then that bit at the top there i'll just show you the difference you can see that bit and that bit we're not sure if that's your forehead or if that's your forehead um the wife was saying she thinks that this deeper part is for your forehead and that's for your chin. But I'm just playing with it and it's like, you'd be sort of looking down and I don't know, uh, I'll find out when I get in the field which is the most comfortable then I'll, I'll change it around. There will be a field report coming up on it. Now, it does actually support, the, well it actually fits the Nexus 7 a bit better. Uh, because with the Nexus 7 all you've got to do, you can actually slide it down inside and you can just push it into place at the bottom and it does come out that way. Oh, there we go, and um, just wiggle it into place like this. And as you can see, that does sit better in there. But the problem is, is you can't get to the power buttons or anything. So you need to make sure you turn on your Nexus 7 or any tablet that has uh, a side volume, etc. Uh, I'm just open my tablet. There we go. Pop that back inside again, and you can see. A little bit of practice. I've only had it for a couple of days. I was going to try and get out of the field, uh, but unfortunately the weather in England uh, turned a bit cold today and a bit windy. I took a day off with the intention of hoping to go flying, and 
the weather let me down slightly. So you can see, you can see in there, uh, the tablet uh, all nice lit up and stuff. So that's it. Uh, this was, as I said, £29.98 from a seller on Amazon. Uh, eBay did have them, but they were a lot more expensive, the eBay ones. And, no, sorry, they weren't more expensive. They were going to take longer to come to England. They were going to come from China. This one arrived in about ooh, 11 days, uh, 11, 12 days. It actually arrived the day... Uh, it actually arrived on Father's Day, funny enough. Um, and I've been out flying the day before. And uh, it turned up the day after. So I'm not, as I said, I haven't had a chance yet to actually go out and test it. But I will. I'll go out in the field and I'll put my camera on and I'll show you what I look like looking into this. And I'll tell you whether it works well. So that's the next part of the video is the field test. So join me uh, once you've been out in the field. Well, thank you for joining me. I'm out in the field, as you can see. I've uh, got the quad set up and ready. Got the tablet uh, shade thing in place. I've had a quick play with it, and to be honest with you, so far, I'm, so, yeah, 50 50 sort of impression. You can still see yourself in the glass of, the, of your tablet or your iPad. Even when you sort of go sort of real close, you have to sort of look past your image on the screen. Um, but it does actually make for better viewing. Some kind of cover over your head might be better. Let's just put the quad up in the air. So with the quad in the air now, as you can see, just coming with the camera there, and hopefully you can see inside there what the tablet looks like, the iPad looks like. A bit hard to get the right angle. But yeah, it's not too bad, it, it does help. Um, unfortunately, as you can see today, it's not the, the brightest day, so it's a little bit difficult to judge just how effective this would be sort of in sunlight. It does help, I must admit, it does help tremendously uh, to see the screen. But, yeah, for £29, I'd probably just end up putting a towel over my head on a bright day and see how that works out. Let's go back to the table to finish this off. So, back on the kitchen table, and uh, my opinion of the £29 face shield uh, that I got for Father's Day. Uh, it is uh, it is usable. Uh, I found that if you have a, a hoodie, uh, if you're wearing a hoodie, why you wear a hoodie in a sunny day though, I don't know, uh, and you sort of put the thing to your face and sort of pull your hoodie around it, then you can block out all the light. Uh, I do like the, the fingers through their idea. Um, you just tap the tablet on. And it was you know, a secure fit uh, for the uh, iPad and for the Nexus 7. So. Yeah, I'm going to give it 10 out of 10. It does what it's supposed to do, and as far as I can see, it works totally fine. So, um, Amazon, £29, something it was, um, DJI Sunshade. I think I searched iPad Sunshade, and it came up with this particular version. You can't go wrong, really. 30 quid, get your wife to buy you for your birthday, get your kids to buy you for Father's Day, or just buy it yourself if you've uh, got some spare cash. So, that's it. Sunshade reviewed. Thank you very much for joining me as always. Take care and I'll see you again real soon.